who you know do they nails using baking soda who you know who i'll wait all right so you need this glue obviously baking soda um the brush on glue will be easier but this was all i had and i'm gonna just work with what i got so yeah i'm gonna just use this glue and you need some polish obviously i got light purple and light pink i really like light colors so i'm gonna try to do these two yeah so i don't even think y'all can really see my lighting was terrible but i want to do like a put both of these on at the same time like a little ombre situation then obviously this is going to be your drill so you need the files take this very seriously very seriously um and then you will need your nails you can pick whatever nails you want they had the short ones but i just got the 80 count the um uh, the longer nails then this is what you're going to use to put your polish on i will let you guys know how to do it later on in the video but yeah so put your baking soda in here i'm so excited for this because like for real who you know you do they nails use baking soda i'll wait but yeah all these products was from dollar the dollar tree literally this baking soda was 59 cents all you need is a little container to put your baking soda in but yeah 59 cents and all the other stuff was a dollar it's just a fun project i don't think i would ever wear these out but if you want to and you skilled and you really know what you're doing do that so obviously you're going to find the nails that you need um i never did this before <laughs> so yeah we just gonna have to figure this out. y'all the moment we've all been waiting for um right now i really didn't know why the glue was not coming out i never used this nail glue before so i'm just trying to figure out like what's going on i guess the problem was it was sealed and i didn't know how to like make it come out so i was so confused i'm thinking like maybe you use the cap but no nah. Yeah, this is just me struggling. Like, it is what it is. As long as it works. I'm thinking, like, you know what? I started my video and ain't even no glue in here. But we got it. We got it. We got it. So, yeah. Glue all your nails on. 
I felt like a G. Like, I haven't had my nails done in so long. I don't wear acrylics anymore because my nail beds be so flimsy. They just break so easily. And I just didn't like that. So, me wearing long nails like this, I was feeling so legit. But, yeah. Alright y'all, so if I was watching correctly, the lady put the glue on the nail and then dipped it in the baking soda. And you just basically, you're going to start from the bottom to the top and you're going to fill the whole nail up with baking soda. So you're just going to start from the bottom, put glue on there, dip it, and just work your way up. I guess that builds the shape and makes it easier to file or something. So any gaps or anything. You're just going to keep putting glue right there and dipping it in the baking soda. I have to learn how to be creative because I'm really not a creative artsy person. And I felt like, you know what, let me try something new for the first time. So this is just me stepping out, giving you all what I'm giving. All right, so as you guys can see, the baking soda is kind of clumpy, but it's forming the nail, and that's when you have to file 
away but I feel like I need to add more baking soda so that's what I'm going to do just to give me some more nail because that just look halfway done so and that glue hurts so bad when it hits your skin so I'm just thinking like what in the world but yeah look at it it's forming it's getting somewhere it's getting somewhere so yeah I'm just gonna keep adding to make it go all the way up to basically close to my cuticle but you want to make it a little bit thinner at the top so like I said in the beginning start from the bottom and go all the way to the top and so it can be like thinned out as it goes to the top so it can be more realistic um so yeah right now you have to file like your life dependent on it because the you have no drill basically so you'll be able to tell how clumpy the baking soda will be when you apply it and then you have to just file it to make it to your liking basically and I like my stuff flat and realistic so I was just filing 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 trying to do what I can to make it look real because we not about to have y'all walking out in these streets looking crazy so just keep filing keep filing to your liking basically um I didn't know how to put my finger I was just trying different ways of filing but <laughs> yeah this is your drill so treat it like you really use the full drill see how smooth that is hold your finger however you need to hold it because it's just gonna work like that so yeah it looks kind of real if you ask me it don't look like I you it didn't look right now <laughs> I'm looking at the glue instructions because that glue hurts so bad when it hits your skin I don't know it just burns super bad and I'm just contemplating like should I finish this video that's how bad it was burning I had to look at the um warning it didn't have no warning signs on it or nothing so I just kept going but yeah y'all see what i do for y'all like that glue is something serious and it was from dollar tree i'm thinking like uh, -uh. but yeah look y'all like really period period but look at the method y'all i saw the original video and she basically had two colors she wanted to make it like an ombre look and she basically had this type of sponge and she painted on the bottom of it basically like um two sides different colors and you're going to press it on the nail so the nail can be cute and blend into each other but I don't know what I did wrong or maybe I chose too light of a color because I don't know I just feel like I couldn't see it for real like <laughs> it, you can't even really tell it just looked kind of purple at the top and white at the bottom. So I just tried a second time, you know what I'm saying? Just to make it pop a little bit more. And it just still didn't. It kind of did a little bit, but I wanted it more vivid. As y'all can see. But you know what? I didn't like it, so I just painted over it. I can't paint. Look at all that paint on my nail. I mean, on my hand. Like, for real. Like, are you serious? I don't know how to paint but I don't think I would do this a second time because I'm not as neat and I'm not very creative but I feel like I did my best and I did good so that's what I'm going to show y'all that's what I wanted to show y'all I'm sorry I need to talk right talk right talk right but yeah I feel like this was fun this is a good experience this is just something to do when you're bored at home but look how clean that nail is like you wouldn't even be able to tell ain't no baking soda on here and the baking soda sticks really good it sticks super good like it's, it gets super hard like it doesn't fall off it it but the um, file is going to be the lifesaver because that's how you um, basically put the shape into motion but yeah I don't think I would do this again <laughs> But y'all got to try it for yourself to see because I feel like I don't have the patience for this. And then my left hand, woo child, I don't think I would be able to do it. But yeah, new content coming soon with the nails because I ordered some new products. And I'm just so happy that I finally got to show y'all this DIY. I love DIYs. More coming soon. But yeah, stay tuned for my new updated one. Um, I love you guys. And please finish the video. Just to see how terrible I am at this. Peace.